Welcome to episode number 26 of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough. In the last episode, we made it back to the past. Not back to the future, back to the past. And uh, yeah, we uh, we had a, a decent time. We found a new hideout that we can go and uh, hang out in. And we went and found another time gear. The first time gear that Grovile apparently went for when he arrived back in the past. And... It discovered that the planet's paralysis has already started. The temporal tower is already starting to collapse. So we now need to go and collect all of the time gears. And most importantly, find temporal tower. Which temporal tower is apparently... They don't know for certain. They don't know for certain. But they say... It, it might be over the ocean. It might be over the ocean. Find a way to cross the ocean. Because it might be over the ocean. It just might be. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it might be over the ocean. So basically we're going to have to cross the ocean at some point. So we're, we're coming towards the end of this game. I'm pretty sure. We're, in, we're only a few episodes away from the climax of this game. So we're... Yeah, that's exciting. If you're looking forward to uh, to this episode and the rest of the episodes of this series, please do please do leave a like down below. Comment or subscribe so you don't miss any of the episodes for this finale. Uh, I really do appreciate all of your interaction. And uh, yeah, let's carry on where we left off. So we're in chapter 17 now, the Guild's Crew. I'm pretty sure there's 20 chapters to this game. I'm pretty sure there's 20 chapters. So yeah. Here we are, Leon. Wigglytuff's Guild. Feels as if we were gone for a long time, but... Now that we're here, it's kind of awkward to go in. After all, we were suddenly taken away in front of everyone. It'd be sort of strange to suddenly show up. No, we can't be acting all bashful now. We have to see everyone and tell them the truth. Okay, I'll stand above the sentry post. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint belongs to. The f f f footprint belongs to. What's wrong, Diglett? Respond! Respond! What? Hey, Diglett! Where do you think you're burying off to? That. that footprint. It's Trevor! Who? You golly, gosh, what? You golly. Eh? What? It is Trevor! And Leon too! Diglett! Long time no see! Oh god. Ah, what is that? It's everybody. Cool! Fish, it's true! Oh my gosh, it really is Leon and Trevor. You're both alive! I was so much worried about you! Oh, golly! God, I was. Boy, golly! Everyone, we're home. Hiya! <laughs> Hiya! Welcome home, Trevor, Leon! Alright, so let's see what the guild has got to say about our revelations. What? What was that again? Just, just hold on for a moment. Let me get the story straight. Okay. Let me summarize the story so far. First, Grovile is actually a good Pokemon. And he was collecting time gears to save the world. Yes. And the Great Dust Noir only pretended to be kind and helpful. He was actually a heinous, wicked villain. Yes, though I didn't really phrase it as heinous and wicked. Also, Leon was really Grovile's partner. Yes. So Dust Noir wanted to get rid of both Leon and Grovile. So he took them to the future. Yes, and me too. Then you managed to escape from Dust Noir by the skin of your teeth. And you barely made it back home from the future. Yes. And finally, this planet will soon become paralyzed. And to prevent that, Grovile started gathering the time gears again. Meanwhile, you two are looking for a place called the Hidden Land. Is that your story in its full entirety? Yes, that's all of it. <laughs> Driver and Leon, you must have had a bad dream or something. What? 
Why don't you two just go to your room and get some rest? Wait, wait a second. You think we're lying? What we just told you is all true. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure you two are suffering from exhaustion. A good nap will fix that. That's not it, Chat Hot. Seriously, we're telling you the truth. That's quite enough. So tell me, is there any part of your story that's even remotely possible? A place called the Hidden Land. I'm the head of intelligence here. I've heard of so much, no such place. Besides, the Great Dust Noir is far too kind to do anything like you've alleged. Yes, I couldn't believe the truth about Dust Noir either. It came as a huge shock. It's really hard to accept, but... I'll hear no more of this. I don't care what you say. The Great Dust Noir, the villain. Simply unbelievable. Seriously, don't you two feel the same way? How can anybody seriously think of the Great Dust Noir as a villain? He held Dust Noir in highest team. We can't believe it. See, 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 everyone shares the same opinion. Bang. Huh? What is it, some flora? It's something I don't understand. That time when the Great Dust Noir was about to return to the future. It's too soon for farewells. And he grabs us. Which we've already seen, so we could just get through that. But yes, why would he grab... Why would he grab me, us, if that wasn't the case? Right, that's not what I did then. It was strange. Anyway, you look at it. I've not got my mark in the right place. So I keep hearing myself blowing on it. Really? Do you think so? Don't you think that Trevor and Leon fell into the dimensional hole by accident? Chat out. How could you say such a thing? No way! <laughs> Dust Noir grabbed Trevor and Leon and yanked them in. Cool fish. That's right. It looked that way to me too. Cool fish, what happened was really weird. Oh, golly gosh. I really have to wonder why Dust War did something like that. Oh, golly gosh. If what Trevor said is true, then what Dust War did with perfect sense. What? Wait a minute. So, is that what you think now? Are you actually saying that you now believe what Trevor and Leon are claiming? Well, that's your answer. Um... Golly, 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 I believe them, golly gosh. What? What did you say? So, b you're now claiming the Great Dust Noir is a villain. Oh, God, I sure did think highly of the Great Dust Noir. The whole idea sounds troubling when you put it that way, golly gosh. But there's something more important here. Yep, yep, Leon and Trevor are more important. Golly gosh, that's why I believe what Leon and Trevor have to say. Beedoof. Cool fish! I believe it too! Me too! Oh my gosh! They're guild colleagues after all. Sunflora's voice changes every single time he comes on screen. I'm telling you. Oh, cool fish and Sunflora! I believe them! Me too! So do I! Cool! No, no, no! Colleagues are drunk! Trust is a must! See, Doug Trio's can change, because Doug Trio's got three heads, and I just choose which head he's talking through. So. Ah! Ugh. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for believing us. Hiya! Hiya! Sounds like we all agree. Huh? Hiya! Yes! We all believe our friends. That's great. Now let's start searching for the hidden land. Ooh, just hold on there, Guildmaster. Master. Huh? What's wrong? We're not all in agreement yet, are we? Huh? We're all good with the story, but I suspect the chat art isn't convinced. Oh, is that all? You don't need to worry about chat art. Huh? 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 Chat art's convinced! Right? Because Chad up believed Trevor's story all along. Right, Chad up. What? Not peculiar. Well, good masters, no fooling you. I admit it. Yes, I believe Leon and Trevor from the start. Chad thought you're a liar. 
You're a liar, Chatter. I'm... Right, everybody, go over to Chatty Chatter's channel and just put on whatever her most recent video is that she's a liar. Okay? Tell her that Leon says that she's a liar. Huh? Really? But if I was would have said I believe them right away, everyone would have just gone along with what I said. Vasilis! That's why I was so contrary. I wanted to put your friendship to the test. Oh, Chat thought you were definitely putting our friendship to the test. Go, golly, gosh, not a likely story, golly. I love doing b -doof stories. I'm sorry, out of all of these voices I've come up with for this playthrough, b -doofs is fantastic. I love it. I want a main series character that I can realistically give that voice to and it just stick. And I, I just love that voice. But without a doubt, I was convinced from the get-go. I knew everyone would surely believe the colleagues. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I am Leon Trevor. I believe you. You're my good friends in the girl membership. Now listen, everyone. Time is in more and more. Time is stopping in more and more places. Ha! From Trevor's story, we know that our world's in danger. That means we have to do something. This is our time. In the name of Wigglytuff Skills, we'll combine all our efforts and discover the hidden land. Ha! Let's do this, everyone. Great! Yay! Woo! Ta da! Ha ha ha! Yes, sir. Okay, everyone, from now on, we're shifting all our efforts to locating the hidden land. We also have to let everyone know what's happening in our world. It's gonna get busy, we all have to work hard. I sure will! Oh, golly gosh, I'll put it down to Treasure Town. I'll get the world out. By golly gosh, yes, I will. I'll go too. We have to let Azalf and his friends know too. If they're back at the lakes, they may try and stop Grovar. Come on, fish, I'll go tell them. Okay, everyone else, search for the hidden land, please. Yeah! Beat oof some floor and the others once your errands are done, gather information on the hidden land. Oh, golly, yes sir, yes sir, I will, golly gosh. We'll hurry. <laughs> ha, we'll find the hidden land together. yum -ta! Hooray. Alright, let's go so show some guts. Cool! Fish, fish, fish. information on the hidden land, but maybe the wise Toko, the town elder, may know someone, something. Toko, the town elder? That would be the wise and oldest Pokemon of Treasure Town. He loves the hot spring, so he's always there. In fact, I'm positive you should find him at the hot spring. Oh, I remember. Yeah, we don't need the flashback of meeting Toko when we got blown out of that place. We do not need... We do not need... It's him, the nice old Pokemon we met. You should put his years of wisdom to use. Go to Toko for advice. First time we went to the hot spring, we had to get there through Ward 4 Cave, Leon. Let's go, onward to the hot spring. But first, it's getting late. Besides, you must be hungry. Huh? My stomach growled. I <laughs> just did too. You should have dinner, then get a good night's sleep. We can get to work tomorrow. Hey, Leon's belly growl again. Good. Did everyone hear that? With a laugh, Leon. Getting your belly bark, battered chimackle like that, hey? Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. So we're going to have dinner. Which sounds like a great plan right now. Sounds like a great plan. The world's about to end. Let's go and have dinner. Why Why bother trying to save the world when we can go and have dinner? So it's night time. I wonder whether we're actually going to get into it any sort of dungeon. We, once again, we're 15 minutes, well, nearly 15 minutes into this episode. And uh, we've got no gameplay yet. It's all been plot. It's been so long since we've been in this room. It feels as though I'm finally home. You know, I'm glad everyone came to believe our story. It made me a little choked up. Let's go meet Torko tomorrow and talk with him. Let's get back at it tomorrow, Leon. Alright, let's go and... Uh, I guess we're going to meet up with Torkoal. Up and at him. It's morning. Uh, good morning, Leon. I would not like to save my adventure. We are continuing. We are continuing 
Ahem, so wrapping up, everyone's aware of the duties today. Boy, golly, yes I am. Now we're ready to go. Good. Those of you investigating the Hidden Land, and those of you spreading the word about the true state of affairs, I expect you to organize your teams accordingly and get going. Let's get right to it, everyone. Hooray. We must go to the hot spring and get information from Wise or Torco. Then we best go through Waterfall Cave to get to the hot spring. So let's make our way towards the hot spring. So do we really have to go through Waterfall Cave again? Is that it? Is that actually what we need to do here? Let's let's see. Uh, let's get our uh, a team back. Who did we have in the team? I'm pretty sure we were we were using. Yeah, we had Lavatar, didn't we? Lavatar can join the team. Godzilla. And um. Were we using Sid the Dratini? Oh, 15. I'm guessing we had, we had Spirograph. We'll take Spirograph. We're best off taking Spirograph, aren't we, really? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We have to go through Waterfall Cave to get to the Hot Spring, which we've been to before. We're not very good explorers if we didn't find an alternative way back to the place we've already been. So, through Waterfall Cave, which is only like the fourth dungeon in the game. So, this should be fairly easy to breeze through. So, yeah, you're going to you're gonna stick with this polywags in here. That's just typical, isn't it? That did no damage whatsoever, and it still killed. So, yeah, this should be, uh, should be fairly easy to just run through all this. I did 200 damage to that low tad. He got destroyed. Didn't know what hit it. Just let all of my team split up and we can get more experience that way. Because none of them are going to die. Ah, oh, but we found a dead end. Ha! <laughs> Well done, Lavatar. Okay. Um, up this way, I guess. There we go. I was about to say, these polywags have probably got water absorbed, haven't they? Which will suck. Seeing as we've got two water types in the squad. Fourth floor. Boom. Let's do this. Go up. It's just, uh, it's kind of a bit of a boring, boring bit of play through this because it's so easy. Look, I mean, that was four times resisted and still killed one shot. You know, it's like taking a team of level hundreds through route one, you know. Sucks a little bit. Wow, there's a lot of items in here. I'll take them. A totter orb. I wonder what a totter orb does. Does it? 
I was about to say, you must have water absorb as well. It doesn't matter. Oh, Lotad wants to join the team. Why not? Uh, obviously, we've got to call Lotad Mirror B. Because... Um, because Mirror B is awesome. Pretty sure Mirror B's only got one R in Mirror. Anyway, we'll send him back. Oh, and Sirskit wants to join as well. Okay, well, we'll name. I'm going to name Sirskit Walter. Because. All I ever think about whenever I see a Water Strider. Which is what Sirskit is. Is um, the Tuxedo, the film. The Jackie Chan film. And I just hear Jackie Chan going, Walter Strider. And he, yeah, he means Water Strider. Is that a mork? No, it's just a grammar. Somehow we managed to level up off this useless amount of experience that we're getting. And we're learning Dark Pulse. Awesome. And um, we'll actually... We'll get rid of Sandstorm. No, yes, we'll get rid of Sandstorm. And just get huge stat boosts on Larvitar there. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Is there any way that Spirograph can actually do damage here? Yes, he's got Body Slam. In fact, I'll just turn them all on and then he might occasionally do something smart like that. Might occasionally. Right. Next floor. Seventh floor. Pretty sure it was like ten floors to this dungeon. I can't imagine there being many more than that. So, we're nearly there. And then we get to have a chat with Torkoal. Don't use Bubble Beam. Not sure why you would think that that was a good idea. Okay, ninth floor. Okay, there's only nine floors. Awesome. Hot spring. Well, lucky the hot spring exists. Usually hot eddy boy and come here, calm right down. Okay, Torkoal. What's the Torkoal voice? I can't remember what voice I gave to Torkoal, but. So Torkoal's the oldest Pokemon in Pokemon in Treasure Town. So we're, uh, ah, my young friends, come to wash away your exhaustion. Oh, not so. I see. You seek my wisdom. Okay. Well, there's no better place than this to share your story. Ah, I see. The hidden land, you say? Hmm. I have heard of it. Oh, really? <laughs> I went really posh with Trevor. Oh, really? The hidden land is truly a place of legend. It is tattered lore at best, handed down by oral tradition. No matter, please tell us. Of course, I can tell you only what I have heard. The hidden land lies beyond the sea. All those hints and I never guessed. In a hidden place. called the hidden land of course it's in a hidden place otherwise why would you call it the hidden land you call it the discovered land so the story goes a hidden place yes the hidden land only allows the chosen to find it to go there 
One must possess certain qualities. Oh, a place that only someone with proper qualifications can go to. Okay, Torkoal, what are those qualifications? They are... Uh, um... What were they? Um, I'm sorry. It slipped my mind. Oh, no, you've forgotten? Please, Torkoal, please remember. This is really important. It's easy for you to say, but uh, I am um, not as young as I used to be. Oh, that's it! You need proof! You need proof of some sort. Yes, that was it. Proof. Proof? What kind of proof? That would be, uh... Uh... Hmm... Forgive me, I've forgotten again. What? You can't remember? I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, Alright. Can you recall anything else at all? No, that's all. Forgive me, youngsters. If I recall what proof you need, I'll be sure to let you know. Yes, please. Thank you, Torkoal. We should go back to the guild, Liam. So, fat load of good that did for us. We kind of already knew that we were going across the sea. Well, we had no idea how... To... And we knew that it was a hidden place because it's called the Hidden Land. So, what a waste. Hmm, Torkoal couldn't provide us many answers. No answers. Absolutely none. That's too bad. Hi not entirely true. We know that we need proof, and anything that is a step forward. Right? Cool! Fish, we're searching too! Yeah, but we didn't find anything. Oh, my golly, there's no giving up. We have to keep trying, my golly! Where are you? I'll keep trying too. We should have dinner and rest up for the night. We'll resume our efforts tomorrow. Well, thanks everyone. Alright. So we're getting in two dinners in this episode. Aren't you lucky? So let's see what's got to be said at night. And then, uh, yeah, we, we'll have this conversation at night. And then we'll end the episode off. Oh, we're not making as much progress as I'd hoped. When we talked with Torkoal, I was thinking we had a hope. Ah, I wonder how Groval's doing. Has he gathered the time gears? We need to hurry too. There's no point in getting all flustered. Especially since everyone is helping out. We should get some sleep. Then start with a fresh resolve tomorrow. Okay, Leon. Good night. Let's see if anything happens. Up and up there, it's morning. No, no conversation before the save screen, so we're going to leave this episode off here, guys. If you have enjoyed this episode of Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, please do leave a like down below. Comment to subscribe. You know I appreciate all of your interaction. You don't want to miss the end of this game, do you? No, you don't. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Stay brave, guys. How will I sit in silence? How will I be denied?